Hello, this is Dr. DeAndrea Wiggins again, and this week in our small groups, we're still talking about prayer, and this week's principle is the clean heart principle. What it means is we have to have a clean heart in order to come before God in prayer and expect Him to hear our prayers and answer our prayers. So this week, we're looking at our clean heart, but also we have to understand what that means. Inside of our heart is our soul, and our soul is made up of our mind, our will, and our emotions. Those are the three areas that we need to be able to submit to God in order for us to really have a clean heart. That means that our soul, or our mind first, has to be attuned with God. That means that there are some thoughts that we have to bring into captivity of the obedience of Christ. Also, our emotions. Our emotions could either move us closer to God or further away from God. So we have to make sure that our emotions are in check. And that is how we can grow closer to God, by finding what His Word says about specific emotions. If we're having trouble dealing with anger, then we need to make sure that we find the scriptures that deal with anger. If we're having trouble dealing with uh, joy or finding joy in us little things in life, then we have to focus on the scriptures that teach us about joy. So our mind, our will, and our emotions. Our will is what determines if we're going to be obedient to God or not and follow what his word says to do. So as we talk more about the clean heart principle, I want you to make sure that you're open to whatever the Holy Spirit might reveal to you. Because it's during our lessons on the clean heart principle that we'll be able to find out if God is really ready to deal with some of the areas that we've kept hidden. Because as it comes forth, that means that you are now ready to deal with it. And God has you in the position that he needs you in order to clean out a lot of the things that you've been holding on to that are, that's keeping you from getting to that deeper relationship. I hope that you will open your ears and open your heart during these lessons so that you can hear from God and have that closer, more intimate relationship with God that you're looking for. Thank you for joining us again, and I hope to see you next week. As we talk about the clean heart principle, I need you to do something for me. I'm out here on the Detroit River, and I need you to close your eyes and visualize what it means to have the water come in, or as the tide comes in and goes back out. And as you close your eyes and you visualize the tide coming in and the tide going back out, I want you to think about the sand on the, on the shore. And as you're picturing the water coming in, water going back out or the tide coming in and the tide coming back out, I want you to imagine those uh, sands on the shore being washed back out to sea. And I need you to visualize that for me because it's an important part of the clean heart principle because over time things have built up in our lives and built up in our heart that can separate us from God. So as we think about the clean heart principle, imagine that the, that, that the word of God is the water coming in and slowly eating away at the different layers taking little bits, little bits of sand and little bits of dirt back out to the water, washing it away with the cleansing of the word. So as we talk about the clean heart principle, I want you to see that God is trying to go in to those hidden places, go in and dig through each of those layers so that you can get to the areas that need to be cleaned out so that you can be open and a vessel ready to be used by him. Thank you for visualizing that with us, and I hope that you gain lots of perspective from the clean heart principle.